The main battle tank and light anti-tank weapon, commonly known as the NLAW, is a short-range fire-and-forget anti-tank missile system. It was developed by SAP Buffers Dynamics and TELUS Air Defense in collaboration with the British Ministry of Defense in 2002. Its characteristics make it a sort of a hybrid. It is loaded with a 150mm high-explosive anti-tank warhead meant to take down enemy main battle tanks at close ranges. It is currently in use with the United Kingdom, Finland, Luxembourg, Ukraine, Sweden and many more. The Launcher Unit The NLAW is a man-portable fire-and-forget missile system consisting of an anti-tank missile stored in a 115 by 115 mm caliber launcher tube built in composite material. The launcher has an optical sight for the shooter, a fold-away launch device, grips and a firing mechanism, a battery package, carrying straps and firing support. It is a lightweight, which only weighs 11.6 kg shoulder launch device that may be operated by a single person. The launcher lacks a trigger, and all firing actions are handled by ergonomic grip located at the right side of the launcher tube. It is simple to use, requires little maintenance and is a one-time use weapon that cannot be reloaded. Talking about the missiles that are equipped in the launcher. The Anlaw missile measures 1.2 meter in length and weighs 12.5 kilograms. It is equipped with an armor-piercing warhead capable of destroying heavily armored main battle tanks in a single shot. The missile is launched using a low-powered ignition. After the missile has traveled to a certain distance, its primary rocket ignites, sending the missile onto the target. Guidance is obtained using a predicted line of sight. The missile's effective range is from 20 to 600 meters or up to 400 meters for moving targets. The maximum firing range is 1,000 meter beyond. Because of its fire-and-forget functionality, the gunner does not need to consider the target's range. The operator just needs to track the target for a few seconds before shooting and Enlaw will handle the rest. The Enlaw has a top attack mode in which it flies 1 meter above the target and fires a downward-facing shape charge over a target vehicle. Because the top armor is generally rather weak, Enlaw might damage tanks with frontal protection exceeding the missile's estimated piercing strength of 50 cm rolled homogeneous armor. This allows for the targeting of vehicles that are primarily hidden behind cover. Do the Ukrainians have enough Enlaw to stop the Russians? In 2022, the United Kingdom sent hundreds of these anti-tank missiles to Ukraine in preparation for an anticipated Russian invasion. Footage from Borisville International Airport just east of Kyiv shows the planes offloading up to 10 cargo pallets, each containing up to 18 portable anti-tank weapons, the Next Generation Light Anti-Tank Weapon, or NLAW. On January 19 this year, British Defense Secretary Ben Wallace said that the UK had already sent 2,000 NLAWs to Ukraine, a figure he said may climb further. The British Army also sent 30 paratroopers to train Ukrainian forces on how to use the NLAWs, which were obviously picked for their ease of use and hence their capacity to be quickly adopted by Ukrainian forces fighting the Russians. NLAWs will thus be the most useful to Ukrainian soldiers if the Russian tanks and armored vehicles are in a closer range but won't help at all countering Russia's preferred tactic of blasting enemies from a distance. By contrast, the far more expensive Javelin missiles earlier delivered by the US in more limited quantities are considerably more flexible weapons with a range of 2.5 kilometers. And with this, the buzz is signing off for today, but don't forget to check out our other videos and stay tuned for more videos from the buzz.